Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft space. I am going to do a walkthrough of this finished recipe cookbook journal. I'm going to show you how it turned out and what all is in there. So let's get started. So I have this really pretty inside cover here. This has two signatures with tons of pages. I'll have to count them up. Um, it's probably over 80 pages and it's scrapbook paper, um, vintage papers, um, all kinds of different uh, papers you'll see as we flip through it. Have these little fabric tabs um, throughout the signature and then I have these different little bulb pens with some beads on them. Got a little bit of lace poking out here and there. And I have the um, gold uh, corner protectors that I put on there. So like I said, two signatures. So let's flip through the first signature. So I have tons of vintage stuff. I also have some new items in here. So like these really pretty recipe cards um, and some of these tickets. So I decorated a couple of the pages, but I tried to leave a lot of them blank. So whoever buys this, they can decorate it as their own. I did um, put several clusters in here. Um, and there's some old book pages as well from some old recipe books that um, I included in here. And I just love these colors. I feel it really goes with this kind of retro uh, theme that I um, went with with this book. And it has some recipes, which is fun. I did a little stamping here and there of fruits and vegetables. Again, some vintage pieces. These, This is a vintage recipe card, so I have several of those. Um, and you saw my earlier videos where I did sewing around several of these pockets. Here's a fun little belly band that I did and created this little tag here with this old stamp. A little bit of lace. And the doily, I really like these rectangular doilies, another cluster. And I just put a lot of these on with these gold um, paper clips. I really like these. And then I have quite a few of these vintage images from different catalogs um, and these mushrooms. Just, I can't get enough of them. I love them. And then um, I did a video on these tags and I absolutely love. So you could put a recipe on the back of the tag. Uh, maybe even a couple recipes. Also did some vintage ledger paper in here. And again, some really fun um, vintage um, ephemera. Here's a bunch of recipes inside of here for early times. Um, some recipe cards. These are you know vintage recipe cards that I've collected um, through my estate sales. Another... Um, vintage recipe and this is one of those clear pockets and I thought this page is just so pretty I didn't want to cover it up so you can kind of still see it and then I included a few cut aparts here um, some more vintage items here um, and then this book page love this uh, baking time and on this side of it um, I just um, collaged on this side and then made a little pocket. You could put a recipe card there. Um, I put this little tag here that I made, however you want to do that. But I just love this poem right here. And I wanted to make sure that that poem could be seen. Some more vintage items, another pocket. So there's tons of pockets. There's also up here, um, this is an envelope. So I cut um, cut that out and made that into a pocket. And there's some uh, vintage items in there. That's a bridge score tally card. And there's some other things in there. I um, love this mushroom washi. And um, another cluster that I made. And I uh, loved making these little bead dangles to put on here. It was fun. And then here's just a fun little flip out and this baking washi. Um, I think I got that from Kitty Witty Paper Crafts and just added some vintage items in there. 
Um, and look at that little strawberry flashcard. So tons of little fun items in there. Here, more space for recipes, um, some other vintage items and some new items. So you could do some clusters um, or collaging on any of the pages. I love how this came out. I think that's so sweet with this berry pie with the berry paper. Did some tracing paper. Here's some more collaging that I did, but you could put a recipe here. And then this center page, absolutely love it. This is from a vintage magazine with their little hot cross buns. And then I collaged on this side as well. Absolutely love it. And then we're into the second half of this signature. So another cluster with a, a vintage bottle cap. Some more vintage items here. This is a round playing card, which is really fun. Um, here I did um, an envelope pocket. So you got three spots where you can put recipes. Um, and I just put a bunch of different vintage items in here. Um, this is um, old um, wallpaper, and I just made it into a pocket and put this fun little um, tag there. And then this is another envelope pocket, and I have a bunch of uh, fun vintage stuff inside there. And then this is another really fun page. I, um, you know, because of that baking time poem, I had it longer on this side. It was short. So I added this vintage um, cutout from a magazine. And just, I mean, look at that, the way we used to decorate back in the 50s and 60s. It's just so fun. And then this side is even really fun with this you know, little island right here and these greens. And I love the little advice in the magazine. So, and then more, um, vintage cutouts. You can either um, collage with those or you could even put a recipe on the back. You know, lots of different things. Another tuck space. Fun little planning paper. So here you could put a recipe or plan out your meals. Another little flip out with this really fun washi. And I made, so I made a tuck here and then there's a pocket up here which has some fun vintage ephemera in there. I mean, this is loaded with tons of baking, recipes, um, food advertisement um, ephemera. So there's so much fun stuff for you to explore. You know, look at that. Traditions with a twist. So a bunch of different pumpkin pie, eggnog cake, all these fun um, vintage pieces of ephemera and uh, the colors are just gorgeous. And this is more of that wallpaper. Just thought that was perfect for a cookbook. Here's some more vintage paper. So you could collage with that, um, you know, whatever you wanna do, but it's just so fun, these papers. And they have this really nice aging to them. Really like them. Some more of that book page. Um, some more vintage papers. Um, and these guest checks are fun to decorate with or even put recipes on them. So into the second signature, super fun. I love, this is an old advertisement that I made onto this and just tuck some uh, fun little pieces in there. Another cl cluster using these old stamps. Another uh, book page from that vintage book with the recipes school paper. Here's some more vintage ephemera, and this has all these fun recipes in here. Just so, so fun. Um, and then in this little pack, I have just tons of little scraps, kind of leftovers and other little surprises that um, I just included in here for um, the owner to utilize um, as they play around in this journal. Another pocket that's stuffed with some more vintage recipes and ephem uh, cooking ephemera. Another fun cluster. Some more of that baking washi. 
another tag I made and some more tickets. This is a fun page that, I mean, I got this 20 plus years ago in some little um, scrapbooking uh, paper pack and I just, it's just fun. It's just fun. Some more ephemera, uh, vintage ephemera, and then just some bingo sheets. And I love this um, herb paper. Just love it. So pretty. And some more. Here's a vintage Rolodex card and recipe. Another cluster. So this thing is just loaded. Another tag. And I love this pocket. This image came from an old advertisement in um, one of those magazines I was telling you about. And I included a lot of the scraps of paper so that you can do more pockets or, and then scrap of this uh, wallpaper. And then I just love this little tuck. So this is um, a digital file um, I have of lace, um, different doilies that I've scanned in. So I printed it out and made it into a little tuck. And I love how that looks. And this is vintage music paper, T for two. Thought that was appropriate. Again, another triple pocket with um, another tag. And these are vintage playing cards, that other mushroom card I showed you earlier. Another tag with some uh, bulb pins and beads. Another fun little cluster. And this is a fun little, this is a paper bag. Uh, but what I did, so I have a pocket here you got a pocket into the bag and so I have some goodies tucked in there but then I also extended this um, book page in here so you can see this awesome vintage kitchen and then this beautiful vintage kitchen on this side and then just a little cut apart so I love that another tuck spot like how the pink coordinates with the pink and then this is the center of the second signature. And I just love these baskets. I could see like cutting out little recipes and gluing the recipes in these little baskets or pictures of dishes that I've made. It would just be a lot of fun to kind of play around and decorate. So I left that up to the future owner. Um, another tuck spot, another tag. Again, you could do recipes on the back. Um, or even just journaling. This is fun. So I have several of these guest checks in here, but I showed you how this is vintage, you know, from those magazines. And I just um, kind of created a cute little cluster on this guest check. And I just think that's a fun way to use up your guest checks. And again, I have tons of little scraps in here um, for the owner to use to decorate their journal even further. We're into the second half. So here's another belly band and an old card and some old recipe. This is about biscuits, biscuits galore. So these, oh, I love these vintage pieces. And then here I just did kind of a little partial cluster on this music page with some of these vintage uh, catalog pictures and another tuck and then another big full size uh, vintage page. I mean, just look at the coloring on that. Just gorgeous. And this advertisement. So many possibilities to decorate and and uh, collage with that. Another little cluster. A fun little, you could write a recipe on this. Another fun folder with some, uh, a pocket, sorry, with some uh, more vintage advertisements. Some more vintage. This is fish, oysters, and croquettes. Another recipe card. Here's another partial collage. Oh, and then this has a top pocket. So you have plenty of space, and I've got goodies stuffed down in there to stuff recipes, or even, you know, sometimes you rip out a recipe from a magazine, you can stuff those down in there. So lots of storage in here. Here's a fun little pocket. And look, fine cocktails made easy. Just love the co cover of this little, you know, this little page. So I thought that went really nicely with the, all the colors here. Um, again, another tuck spot with a cut apart and some more vintage items, more stamping, this 
book page, um, another cluster, and then some more of that vintage um, cookbook, magazine pages, and another recipe card. And then this I thought was so fun. This is a clue card, but it's the kitchen. So I thought, oh, that goes perfect with this uh, cookbook. So this is um, the end uh, of the book. Like I said, there's tons of pages. I think it's 80 something, I'll count them up. But again, you got the, the ribbons from the tags hanging out the top, which I love. The sig center signatures and all the sewn pockets. So you can trim those if you don't like them. So you can see the two signatures. And yeah, it's, it's stuffed, but you can add more. And then like some of the items that are in there, you might not want to keep in there because you might want to use them in other journals or, um, um, you know, might want to store them for other things. So I also made a cluster, um, a dangle for um, this journal and I make my mine removable so it clips on and I found this fun yellow uh, jump ring and I just try to find really kind of fun little buttons and other pieces of, of things to decorate. So we got a pineapple and a watermelon. I really like this wood piece here. It's um, a lemon slice and I poked a hole in that. And I have some fun buttons that the green and the orange that go along with the yellow with the, the colors of the journal. I love these spoons and forks that I picked up. So I think it's fun to add those. Um, also have this um, key. I just love adding keys. And then um, just love all these different ribbons and laces that, you know, go along with the color scheme of this journal. And there's a wooden bead in here. And here's a little wooden bead. Oh, and there's a little donut. <laughs> so um, that is the spine dangle and it just clips on right like this. It's hard to see with my one eye. There we go. And it dangles on like that. So when you're not using your cookbook, you can have it sitting on the shelf. Look how pretty that would be sitting on your shelf like that. Just gorgeous, just gorgeous. So anyway, this is gonna be for sale in my Etsy store. And I tell you what, it is packed with the vintage ephemera stuff. So it's, it's a really great deal. This uh, beautiful journal, plus all of the, the fun um, kitchen recipe uh, cooking ephemera that's in here. So I really hope you enjoyed watching me kind of make this and put this journal together and seeing the final product here. Um, I would love it if you'd hit a like button and um, comments really help my channel really trying to grow my channel um, so I would appreciate that um, if you leave a comment down below and if you happen to be new welcome and I would love it if you would subscribe it would mean a lot to me to subscribe to my channel I have so many videos planned out I mean you should see it's list it's so so long so I'm slowly kind of ticking through the list I've really been enjoying my beginner junk journal videos. So I'm going to keep doing that um, as well. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Bye.